Well, hey y'all, today we are gonna show some love to our wooden utensils and cutting boards. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm gonna use two different products, but the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna melt some beeswax. Now these are just little, little, little pellets. Now I did order these from Amazon and the company is beesworks.com from Chesterfield, Missouri. Or you could use, where'd it go, where'd it go, where'd it go? There it is, hang on just a second. This is a big block of beeswax from um, Hobby Lobby. It's really hard and you have to grate it, but these are these work great. And you have a one to three ratio. So one part beeswax to three parts oil. And I've got my oven on 170 and I'm making some um, croutons out of that Irish beer bread the other day. So I'm not gonna use a regular, you can use anything. It depends on how much you want to make. So I'm gonna use equal parts, well not equal, one part beeswax, and I'm gonna put this in my oven. And this is a oven safe dish. And beeswax will melt at 145, but you do not wanna go over 170. And so I have my oven set at 170. So let me slip this in there and I'll be right back. Okay, I sure hope those croutons turn out. So what we're gonna do, this is my mother's uh, cutting board. I do not use it for cutting. I lay it, at, I keep it at the side of my sink, this side up, so I don't mess up my countertops because these are painted, I, I sponge painted these. But the other side had writing on it, but this side does not, so this is the side I use. So what you would want to do when you're going to clean your cutting boards, you're gonna take regular salt, there's no measurements, y'all. And I'm just going to put some salt in a dish. And I'm going to take a lemon and cut it in half. And then you dip the lemon in the salt. And then you just give it a, a good rub. You want to squeeze the lemon as you're doing it. And you can go back into that salt. But this will, uh, it'll clean your cutting board and the salt is going to, Give you some abrasiveness that'll help clean some of the icky out of it. You can also use baking soda if you would like, but baking soda is, is not as gritty as salt. And you can always make a combination of the two, whatever makes you happy. So we're just gonna. All right, now I don't use this with food. I just set items on it, so it's not real dirty. But I just want to show you the the gist of this. So I'm gonna give this a, a good rinse. Okay. Get all that salt off the edges. I'm gonna take a clean towel and I'm gonna dry it real well. Do y'all know that y'all are standing in the den looking through the kitchen window? You are. And that's the reason why there's this there's a shadow on this uh, thingamajig up there. I don't know what you call it. Valance, whatever. It's something or other. It's kind of pretty. But anyway, I'm going to dry this real well. This will be the last thing that I condition with all this good oil that we're going to use. And I'm going to just stand this up right here. Yeah, that's not in y'all's way. All righty. Let's see here. I think I'm going to turn y'all off for just a minute, and I'm going to get everything set up that we're going to use. And I'll, I'll be back with y'all in just a little bit. Okay, our beeswax is melted, and it took about 35, 40 minutes. Now I have a, a just a container. You can put this in any jelly jar or plastic, whatever you want to use. But I'm going to use this just because I think it's pretty. And this is a MCT oil, and it's a medium chain triglyceride. It's a 100% coconut source. Has no coconut smell. I put this in my coffee in the morning, y'all. It's really good. But I'm just going to put three. Ah! I'm going to put three. Ah, it's always an adventure, isn't it? Since this is a one to three ratio, I'm going to put three of these spoons in this little dish. Okay. And I'm going to use one of the wooden spoons I'm going to 
uh, condition after a while and scrape this beeswax out. It smells so good, y'all. I love making beeswax candles. I'm not an expert. Mm -mm. We'll do it together someday, though. Oh, let's see. Let me wipe this out really good with some with a paper towel so it'll be easier to clean later. Okay. Let's see what we think about this. Y'all think I should have put the beeswax in first? Probably. We think it's going to be okay? Mm-hmm, we do. We might have to warm it back up. Yes, we might have to do that. So I'm just going to let that sit there and, and see what happens with it. And I'm going to show you this other product. Hmm, y'all. That was a one to three ratio. I think I've got too much coconut oil in it. I'll mess with that later. So it can just sit right there and be fine. Now I want to show you a product. You can get this at hardware stores. It is a Howard brand cutting board oil. And I will put a picture of this at the very end. And it's food safe. Whatever you use, you want it to be food safe. Hmm, I'm concerned about my little spoon butter over here. So, what I do, I just take my, I'm going to use this on my rolling pins, and I'm not going to worry about getting it on this wood cutting board uh, because it's going to get some loving too after a while. But I just make sure everything is, is smooth, and of course you want it to be clean, and all of these, these are, and there's no splinters or anything, and then y'all, you just got to, you can use a, um, a rag if you want to put this on with that, but I don't see any sense in getting something else dirty. And I'm just going to rub this around. And I've got plenty on that one big rolling pin, so I can share that with these others. Hey, y'all, this came from the stamp store back in the day. Oh, we love the stamp store. But this probably, I should do this more than once a year. About every six months, maybe when the time changes is when we need to, to, to do this. So maybe that's what we need to start doing. Okay, let's see now. I am concerned about that beeswax. I think I'm going to melt a little more and put it in there. So anyway, I'm going to keep on working on, on this big, great big one right here. And then I'll let you know what I do to this beeswax because it's... um not making me happy. Maybe it'll set up a little bit. So I'll let y'all know. I'll see y'all back a little bit. Do y'all ever get in a hurry? I stay in a hurry. Sorry about that. What I did, I told myself to chill out. So I took the ring off of this little container. I'm going to store my spoon butter in and I put it in a brownie pan and I set it in the oven and I left it while we were eating dinner, which by the way, that Irish brown bread uh, croutons, he said, was really good. So, here we go. And I'll put the ring back on this, and we can, we will uh, use this. Now, these have been soaking for a while, and you just take a towel that you don't care anything about and just wipe down the excess off of these. I've already done the other two. But what I want to tell you about your wooden utensils, um, Use a brand new emery board and just go around. And if you find any places that are kind of rough and kind of tore up, tore up a little bit, just sand those smooth. There's a little one right there. Just sand it smooth because you, you don't want to get any splinters. All right. And I've already checked the rest of these. So this is a, um, it was a brand spanking new one. So I'm just going to take some of this. Uh, spoon butter and your hands will will make it warm now some of these are 30 years old and because I have never put them ever never ever never in the dishwasher they don't look too bad for 30 years old but you can just take this the spoon butter or you can take your cutting board but this is mineral spirit not mineral spirits mineral oil uh, with vitamin E in it. Now, if you don't care to use mineral spirits, um, this other is a really good recipe. 
Let's see. Was there something else I was going to tell y'all? Hmm. wonder what it was. I got a little flustered about my butter not making y'all and kind of upset me a little bit, but it's going to be okay, isn't it? Everything's going to be okay. So I'm just going to continue to rub these down and I'm going to take my time and I'm going to chill out and then we'll get back together whenever I, I get these all done. So I'll see y'all back here in a little bit. Okay, y'all, I've got them all oiled down with this um, spoon butter. This is the very first time I have ever made this and used it truth in advertising i've always used this but because it is a mineral oil and i know some of y'all would not want to use mineral oil i want to give you another option and you want to use a food safe oil but not something like a olive oil or canola or vegetable oil anything that would go rancid you don't want to use it's a, it's a bad plan so what i suggest if you make this take just a little bit just a little bit, it's like brill cream, a little dab will do you. Put it in your hand and then heat your hand up. And you're going to feel it get warm. And then take it and massage it into the utensils and it works much better. And if you've gone with a uh, emery board and got any of those little rough splinters off, you're going to be so happy you did that. So I tell you what, I think I do like this this uh product i think i'm probably going to keep this around and maybe every other time that i wash my wooden spoons i'll just hit them a lick with this i did do the cutting board and i did both sides of it and i'm going to let see these i did earlier well 15 20 minutes ago so i'm just going to let them sit there and do their thing but y'all i think i think i like this but I do have this older rag, and I'm going to, let's see, let me start with this side first. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to buff this and take any of that extra uh, beeswax and uh, coconut oil off. Let's see what we think about this. Of course, I'll do a, a better job here on, on the rest of these. I'm just going to show y'all kind of what it looks. I guess I should have done, done half and, and left half blank. But anyway, it feels really, really good, and, and, and this feels good, y'all. I like it. Okay, so I'm going to let these sit here for about an hour and let them absorb any of this if they would like to. I'm going to stand this up and let it get a little air drying, just make sure it's done. But y'all, this, I like this. I like this. I know this has kind of been a discombobulated video, and I'm sorry, but if you know me, sometimes that's just how it gets. It don't get no better than that. But... I do like this, and we do need to take care of our utensils. This thing is 30 years old from the Biltmore, and I love to use it. And so, you you know, if you take good care of it, y'all, you can hand it down to your children and grandchildren, and they'll be proud. So, I will see y'all next time, and y'all go do something fun. Well, morning, y'all. You ever wake up, and the, the very first thing you think of in the morning is usually the very most important thing for you that day. Well, today, y'all, it was y'all. It was. Because I, in the night, you know how your brain just, my brain just, it just kind of goes nuts. But anyway, I know that I forgot to tell you about this MCT oil. This is found in the dietary section of your big grocery store type thing that you go to. Um, it's used by a lot of people that are doing keto because of, it has just great, um, uh, great properties for that but it does not have any flavor and it's very good and i have sauteed this is great it's great for your skin it's great in your coffee i've sauteed vegetables and shrimp in it and it's wonderful now the beeswax i think we talked about that yesterday let me move this i'm gonna i'm gonna tell y'all about this right here i messed this part up yesterday y'all sorry about that but what I'm going to do today, I'm going to start over and do, I'm going to do two small little jelly jars. And what I have, I use my real measuring thing, and it's a one to three ratio. So I have one tablespoon of beeswax, three tablespoons of coconut oil. Exactly. And I have my oven heated to 170. Now, you can do this in a double boiler. Um, it just, I'd have to take this thing off and it... 
it's just a lot e I like to find the easiest ways to do things. If things are going to be too hard, I'm probably not going to want to do them. And I think that just, uh, that's just human nature, y'all. So I want to put these in my oven that's preheated to 170. I'm going to set my timer so I can tell y'all kind of sort of exactly uh, what's going on. Now, I've got on my outside working clothes because it's not going to rain all day. So I'm going to spend the entire day out in the yard and, and all that stuff. But I'm not going to forget about y'all and this in the oven. So I'm going to put this in there. And I have it sitting on a piece of parchment paper just so whenever I'm stirring it, it won't get on my cookie sheet. So I'll see y'all back here when this is completely melted. Alrighty, y'all. That took 37 minutes. And they are all completely melted. So I'm just going to stir those up to combine the, the two oils in there or the beeswax with the uh, MCT coconut oil. All right, there we go. Now, I feel much better about that. And y'all, this, I really prefer this now, and I think I'm going to always use this on my wooden utensils. Uh, it just makes them feel like satin. And, you know, that, that really, it, it makes me happy. So anyway, I'm going to let these cool. I'm going to put these in the sink and wash those since I've touched them. So I'm going to let these cool, and then I'm going to put a lid on them. And I've got my little outside list going, and I'm going back outside to work. So now I feel better about the day. So y'all go do something fun, and I'll see y'all next time.